It's clearly not been a good league season. Any defence that concedes 59 goals has problems galore. But in the Cup, a different story. Epitomised by that marvellous winner from John Chidozzi in the last round. This week, the, the atmosphere uh, amongst the players have been, has been completely different. You know, that every, everybody's got a, a bounce in their step and there's one or two jokes flying about. Um, you know, and they, they're, they're, there's more smiles about the place. And, uh, you know, there'll be no need uh, to motivate them. Well, it's empty now, but come three o'clock tomorrow, 20,000 fans will be here at Meadow Lane. And tonight, we bring you a tale of two counties, Notts and Derby, both shedding the worries of a terrible season to bid for a little bit of glory in the FA Cup. Both of them, of course, only two games away from Wembley. Can they do it? In a moment, Kenny Burns on the eve of his FA Cup debut for Derby. The Plymouth manager singles out the danger man. And Notts County's match winner, John Chidozzi, says this one's for Jimmy Cyril. And also in sport tonight, a chance to win two free tickets for the Milk Finals. And if you've been asked to choose your last eight teams, I wonder how... Nigeria, where he's the star of the national team. He's one of those sportsmen that make people envious, a natural at any game. Despite just the occasional round of golf, he's a far from ordinary player. His teammates will tell you he's deadly at snooker, not bad at squash or tennis, excels at sprinting, of course, and most things you care to mention. Well, John's been using the golf course this week to wind down in preparation for Saturday's cup tie. Acting as his caddy is certainly a far easier job than having to mark him on a football field. He claimed at first to be a 24 handicapper, but that style looked far too good. <laughs> I don't believe you play off 24, though. Well, I don't. Well, I play off 18, yeah. Yeah, you seem to be striking it really well. Yeah, yeah, well, I suppose it's not... It's a lucky day today, and I know. How strange is it for you to be struggling in the league, battling against relegation, yet you're two games away from Wembley? It is, uh, you know, well, we haven't had the luck in the league as we had in the cup, you know, but it is a shame of the position we are at the moment, yeah. Do you think the pressures might be telling on Everton, the fact they're already in a final and have just had a tough game against Liverpool? Oh, yeah, I suppose so, but uh, I think, yeah, Everton players, I think their mind will be at you know, the Milk Cup final, as you said, you know, in two or three weeks' time. But, uh, you know, I'm sure they will be more determined to, you know, to make it to Wembley's you know, Cup finals, but I think we're going to try and stop them, yes. What about Wembley, your prospects of that? I don't think you've ever been there, have you, John? Uh, no, I haven't been at Wembley, no, no. But, uh, but I look forward to, you know, going there. I help with Nuss County, yeah. And finally, I just think uh, the players must really be wanting to do well for uh, manager Jimmy Cyril this week, who's had such a personal tra tragedy. It is, you know, it was uh, a bad thing to happen to him at the moment, but uh, I'm sure, we, you know, we're going to give him that win on Saturday, yes. Well, with all the big clubs out of the way and daring deeds in the air, there's no reason at all why Derby and Notts shouldn't go all the way. But I see Jimmy Greaves down there in our Birmingham studio. You've actually tipped Everton to win this one. How dare you? Well, I feel... Sleek club, not 